Welcome back guys to ZRK Reviews and today what I'm going to share with you is my top 10 keyboard commands which you can learn and help you make you work faster whether you are browsing at home, whether you're at school, college, university or even at work. These top 10 keyboard commands will definitely help you out. So let's check this out. Number one, copy and paste. Simply highlight your text you wish to copy, press and hold control key and click the letter C and then press and hold the control key and click the letter V to paste to your desired location. This command works on text and also files. Number two, find it. If you're looking for a specific word or sentence, simply press and hold control key and click the letter F. This will open up a search bar for you to enter your word to find and this command also works on your file explorer. Number three, highlight files. To select individual files in bulk to copy, move or delete, just press and hold control key and use your mouse to click on any files. To highlight all files, press and hold control key and click on the letter A. To come out of this, just press on any arrow key. Number four, zoom in and out. This only takes one key. Press and hold control key and use your mouse scroll to zoom in or out. This works on in your file explorer. This can also work in your browser. Whether you're reading text or watching a video, and finally, it can also work on your desktop. Number five, force and task. We just hate it when our programs freeze. A simple way to close the program, press and hold Control and Alt key and click on delete. This will pop up and give you an option to go to the task manager. Once you're there, select the program you wish to close and click end task. As now you can see, we end the task on the browser and now we have it up and running again. Number six, jump screens. This is my favorite. To jump into any program you have opened, simply press and hold Alt key and click on the Tab key to jump screens to whichever you like. You can also hold down on the Window key and click on the Tab key to skip different programs you're working on. Number seven, the X tab recovery. So you accidentally closed your browser or some tabs. Well, not to worry. All you do while you're in your browser, just hold down on control and shift and then click on the letter T. This will open up previous tabs you have accidentally closed or bring back the websites you have visited. Number eight, file explorer. A quick way to open up your file documents is by pressing and hold down on the Windows key button and click on the letter E and straight away you're ready to explore the files you're looking for. Number nine, the secret desktop. I should have been telling you this if it was a secret. Oh well, say you're working on a project and you don't wish to close anything, simply press and hold Windows and Control key and click on the letter D. This will open up a brand new desktop to work on. So for example, if children want to watch a cartoon without disturbing your files, simply open up a new desktop for them. Now to switch through desktops, simply press and hold Windows and Control key and then click on the left or right arrow keys. To check and close desktops, press and hold Windows key and click on the tab button. This will show you all the desktops and programs that are running 
and you can close them by clicking on the X. You can also close the desktops by pressing and holding down onto the Windows and Control key and then click on F4. And finally, number 10, lock it. When you're going away from your desk, always lock your screen, especially if you're in a working environment. You just never know who will fiddle around with your stuff. Press and hold Windows key and then click on the letter L. This will lock your workstation, preventing anyone getting in. And there are dozens of keyboard commands out there which you can implement in your daily work. So guys, that was my top 10 command tips. And if you have any other keyboard commands that you know and like to share, then leave them in the comment section below. And I should catch you in the next one. Peace.